Okay, it's 10 o'clock. Appreciate you guys coming in on such short notice. Uh, I thought about putting this in an email. But I knew what that would be too. So. into the classrooms. Then they're going to shut that floor off so they can finish the flooring up there. The classrooms should have all the carpeting in the classrooms, but the hallways are not done. We will have one restroom on either floor so that if you're in your rooms working, you don't have to run the cases. Or you could go to the rentals outside. But we will have a restroom and they're, they're one of the individual restrooms. It's not the big ones. They're still doing the flooring and, and all of that. I'm going to show you some pictures of what I have seen that is completed so far. We will not be able to get into the east end with the cafeteria, the kitchen. Um, we're probably going to be able to get into the offices at a, later on in the week to be able to do that. But at this point, Furniture will be delivered starting a week from today, and it's a two-week process to get that put in. Uh, the last delivery comes on the 25th, and that will be the desks that go to the student desks. We have some things, and I'm not sure when they're going to get here, but they are backwards, but it's not going to affect you right off the bat. What they are are those wobbly chairs, whatever those things are. Yeah, they set up the wall around. Maybe those are what they call the wall the kids. I don't know. Those are, those are the stools that set up to the benches or to the, to the desk. Uh, those are backward. How long it takes us to get those, I don't know. But uh, we're, we're trying to move things along as quickly as we can. Um, some rules when you're in the building. What I want to do is. We're going to turn our custodians loose as soon as, the, as soon as Neville gives me to go. And we're going to start moving the, the stuff out of the fair building onto the second floor, the top floor, the main floor. Okay? And setting it in your rooms. Now, we cannot, we have not been turned over the building yet. It is still a construction site. So, PPD, protecting your stuff. I've talked them into waiving that. As long as you don't leave your classroom and go wandering around the building. You tell me if, if, if I have somebody wandering around the building, other than going to the restroom, they'll shut us down. Because you've got to have a hard hat, shirt, or the vest, all of that. Uh, Close toe shoes, long pants, if they make us go to that. Okay? So, if we let you in, we have have to go in, you'll enter. Hopefully, we'll have it ready so we can enter from the uh, bus driveway door up the steps and then up to the classrooms upstairs. Now, on the other end, we're not going to be able to get in there because they're getting ready to asphalt the floor concrete and, and come in that front hallway. Uh, we're having some difficulty right now getting the moisture down in the concrete in the building so we can. Part of the problem is, is we have some, uh, I'm 
how many of y'all have been involved in construction, but I'm going to tell you, one sub doesn't play very well with the other. They seem to get each other's way. So when we say these doors don't open because we, we're trying to get the moisture down, then you go back and it's propped open. So the outside air is causing us some trouble. The air conditioners have been pumping since um, about a month now, and our temperature has stayed at even 72 degrees throughout the whole building. But when they open the doors, of course, that drops it in that area and moisture comes in and the whole thing. So we're, we're pushing all that and trying to get it to happen. The other things, let's see. I have, and hopefully you all got around and signed your name on the room that belongs to you because if it's not, then I'll sign it. Because we're going to move stuff into the classrooms. There should have been a map in your building before the end of the year. There was a map in the building that had all the rooms and people's names were to be put on those. It was the floor plan of each floor. Where you go? If I need somebody, then you're just going to end up in a room. I'm not going to go I don't know if you clarified what preschool is. Do you have that right now? Preschool? Preschool. 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 Pre
playground's not going to be ready. We ran into a snap new over there right now. We're still fighting the asbestos in the floor. Uh, hopefully they will get that saw cut today and get that out. What it is is there's a piping that runs through the floor in a trench. And it was another one of those he said, she said, and somebody else didn't want to do it. So we've got that fixed. There should be saw cutting today. We've got to lift that out and not disturb that. It might be a trip in itself. So we're soaking with water and everything will be fine. That's all they say. If we can soak it down with water, everything will be EPA will let us do what we need. Put the boxes in your room. Um, the restrooms will be down there. Watch your emails because that's how we'll blank a concept or a, a statement out saying, okay, you're, if you are a kindergarten, first or second grade, you'll be the first ones in the building. Because okay? they'll be the top four. And those are the ones that we're going to bring from Colorado right away. I went over there trying to get a day just to kind of see, pick some things out of the mouth of the on this. <laughs> the other thing that we got to have is, is hopefully there's going to be some dust all over this stuff. And so we're going to have to clean it before we go in. Make sure you clean your shoes before you go in, or you can't bring another pair of wear or something. We have a problem. The building won't be turned over to us, so final cleaning will be done, and we can't be dragging stuff in and creating figures. Okay. It's going to be uh, it's going to be controlled chaos at best, but we'll get in there. So we'll get in there. We'll get this school started. What I'm trying to do is get as much time for you to work as possible. So probably the earliest that you all will be able to get in. Upstairs will be the week of the 25th. I'm trying to get at least three weeks for you. Okay. Pushing that, so hopefully. And then downstairs, as soon as as soon as they give us some, we'll start hauling into the classrooms and take turn with us. The office area, as soon as we can get you in there. Right now, you're just going to be a Yes. That's supposed to be coming starting next month or so. Hopefully, hopefully we'll be in there. Um, like I said, it comes gradually from starting that Monday. We come from today through about two weeks or three. A lot of pieces of furniture in there. Where do they go to the bottom? Uh, probably down on the side. You can park on uh, Dakota, and you may need to park down towards Casey's. Uh, you can park anywhere along there. There's a spot, but uh, don't park in the bus lane because we've got another. Uh, we're getting ready to put another layer of asphalt in there. Once they have that done. 
hopefully at the end of this week we'll have all the sidewalks and curbing uh, Try to get them that are near enough to bring more people in to get it taken care of. But it is what it is. I can scream the old ball or whatever. Uh, so I guess I'm going to show you some pictures of what's going on in there. Uh, it's, it's changed, which it should. It's changed a lot since uh, y'all got to take the PBIS to work. <laughs> you on the screen? Yes! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like saying it in front of people or being on screen. <laughs> They're fan shaped like that. Four of them are. The ones on the competition gym are regulation um, fiberglass boards, square boards. That's the carpeting in the um, first grade. It's the same thing right below it. That's what the lockers have been in every room look like above your lock. Um, the, up above is the storage space. And then the lockers are down below that. With the exception of kindergarten, I'll show you a picture of kindergarten here pretty soon. That's a fifth grade room, or let's see, that would be third, fourth grade. That's a, st a storage area in the workroom, one of the workrooms. This is the one that is uh, on the top floor. There will be a copy machine in there, a copy machine downstairs, and one in the office. Now, one of the things we have to be careful about this, yeah, this is on block and everything else, but uh, they have uh, warned me that be careful how much weight you put in there. They'll hold a lot of weight. You can fill them with paper and stuff, but for some reason, some of the schools, they seem to get really weighted down and pull them off the walls. So I'm just, I don't think you will. These are the lockers in the kindergarten area. The what's that? Well, you got little kids. <laughs> and, and we put everything down on the floor, so that's all out in the hallway. Um, just, just another picture of the... Oh, I thought you wanted to see what your privy looks like. <laughs> yeah. That's one of the, whatever you call it, individuals. This is in the gymnasium also, and uh, I took this morning because there seemed to be a lot of people just standing with their fingers in their ear. Uh, I wanted them to get moving. But now you, that's a picture in the gym, that's the colors. This is a teardown if you didn't get to come see the teardown. Bunch of that. And I think, hopefully they'll be done with that by the end of the week. Nurse's office. Have her own restroom, office, and then the outer area. The floor, all the floors, 
be in different colors and things will look like that. This, this is the kitchen area. They're getting all the equipment in the kitchen area. This is a stage area. Look, I, I wanted to get a picture of the uh, soft or all the uh, heating air that goes up through there. This again is a fourth grade classroom, fourth grade. I'm telling you, there's some colors in here that are going to age themselves real quick. <laughs> but this, these are the colors of when your mom's with kids. I remember these colors. Man, I didn't like them then. This is inside the. This is inside the preschool restrooms. There again, we're in there. This is the. Uh, oh, that's the nurse's office. Nurse again. I took several pictures of those because I thought our nurse would really like to see that. Carpet in the office, and that's what our office looks like. It's wide open. There's nothing in there. That goes all the way through the office suite right now. Uh, tile being dropped. That's my favorite view. Out that window upstairs, and I'm looking. It was cloudy. I saw. I, was look, I took a picture looking back to the southwest. Or, yeah, the southwest. When the leaves are off the trees, we'll be able to see a long ways from right there. Okay, this that's the wet area downstairs. It's in the hallway. You can see all the this is lighting that goes up around the and then different colors. Hallway, they're working in these hallways right now, getting the flooring in. This is, uh, that's in the uh, preschool room. These are the bathrooms off of the, off, or the uh, work room in the office area. And I, the floor will pop a lot better than that because that was, they just finished the floor. There's two layers of, um, of uh, finish that goes over the top, that clear coat, that really make the colors pop out. That's the uh, flooring that's in the kitchen. That's looking into the dishwashing area through the uh, tray return window. I did, they just finished it, so I didn't go in there and walk around. So didn't want to track it up. That's the serving area. Somebody had, had been in there. This little table out here in front of this cabinet area, that's storage as well as that's where there's going to be sinks and places for kids to uh, wash your hands before they go into the lunchroom or come out of the lunchroom. Then you can see everything that's going on. This is from the floor of the library looking up towards the cafeteria. Uh, we're having a little bit of trouble with Lane's cabin and the only reason we're having trouble with that is the, the, the boards that go on the outside of that are milled boards that make it look like they're used boards. It's going to take a little bit of, they're backward. That's downstairs next to the um, uh, fifth grade room. This hallway on the right there, that's the fifth grade hall. Next to the stairwell. There's the fifth grade lockers. Some more cabinet space. This is a little uh, out in the hallway. That's a little, uh, do they call it a cafe bar? You know, like when you go to Starbucks or something, you get to pull up there and hook up to your computer. That's what you get, only you don't get the coffee. Uh -oh. Somehow I lost. These are going the wrong way. There we are. That's that funky looking soffit that goes up in the, as you, as you walk in downstairs. And that's wet area down there. Of course, we had the thermometer up there so we could take the temperature. And that's notes. That's upstairs. Those are um, 
across the hallway from the office, that's a uh, display cabinets. We'll go in there. Kind of bright. That was the first day they started. That was they. Those were the first cabinets. Those were the first ones they put in. I'm sorry. It's, no, it's a, it's just a projector. It's it, they're not orange. They're uh, but they are what they are. So. It's a light oak finish. What it's supposed to be. But there's many other crazy colors we have in there. I thought this was kind of interesting. Look at the wires. There's miles and miles of wires that go through that place. Um, you go into the cafeteria, there will be tiles dropped, but there's places you'll be able to see all the way to the deck. So we painted everything black so it didn't kind of jump out and get you. Mechanical room. That's pretty much, from there on, it's just pictures of the, from the very beginning to, to where we are. Questions? Okay, the other question that I guess I would have is when we get, when it comes time to, to move in, we may ask to try to find some volunteers to help carry boxes. One of the things that we have to be very careful of, several things, but one is can't be being banging into walls, doors, door jams, any of that kind of stuff. We do that, then that sets us back to okay, so when we go in, we have to be very careful. The other thing we can't pull a, um, we have to use rubber tire, good rubber tire uh, dollies to get things down to the room, so we'll carry it. We can't use uh, pallet jacks, so in other words, we can't pull the pallets through the door and run around because they have metal wheels and tear up that uh, red light board. So, I visited with my quarter this morning. Uh, we have a, we, if anything's going to really tick me off, is go in there and see people not being very careful with what's going on. We put a lot of time, a lot of effort, we don't want to pour up the bang up before we even bring kids in the So, Careful as you can in there because it's not our building yet. They haven't turned over to us, they haven't finished it, they haven't finished the punch list. They're allowing us to move your stuff in so you can go to work, uh, put stuff above the lockers. If you want to do some more work, you can do that. But you know, we'll none of us a little bit. But at least maybe we can get a head start. And that'll start at some time. It's going to be a really nice decision. <coughs> They've done a really good job. It's just it's coming down to the end. This is always happening. It's always happening. Is there a place to put these up before we can get some? Well, like, we'll have to come to one of these buildings. Right. I don't know. We'll have to figure that out. Where's your winner? We have one sitting in the central. That's like where you go. You take the shrimp off and get ready. And we still have. Because we still have air conditioning down there, we can pump turn the air conditioners on and still electricity. So maybe we need to do some of that stuff to prepare. Put it down there. Where's, where's the one? We have one in Colorado. They're both over in Central. Colorado is the Said we'd do it on. We would. We would send emails. We'd be watching your email. Okay. It'll come out on 
one email and a blanket statement to everybody, and I'm assuming that it's probably like everything else I told you. I don't need you with it. Because everybody wants in there, and so they're paying attention. That's a good thing. So, what I guess what I'm getting at is there's going to be an email and then listen to your neighbors. Okay. <laughs>
So when you get there and put your stuff in your room, it'll all be in your room. And all you have to do is start cooking. Now, once you took it home, we'll have to set a time. So that we can get it in there. And probably what we'd like to do is get everything home. It isn't going to go first. It's supposed to be completed by the uh, first August. 27th, 28th, I think. 28th. I was just going for two weeks. Okay. 28th is what they're supposed to be done, completed, installed, and out of it by the 28th. So far, I've done September 18 at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. That's a Sunday. We need to tell them before school starts and how they can do The patrons, people of the community are sorry, asking us, yeah. how soon can we get in and, and see it? Then we need to tell them definitely not before the first day of school. Well, we're at uh, Okay. 
renovation of the buildings on September the 18th. That'll be for the whole town. And that's anybody in town who wants to show up and talk to a lot of people. Diamond building or square building, I don't know which side you're looking at. Uh, it's being painted now on the inside. We took on a lot of water the other night. They, after they had to open the roof, the water came in the river, which ran right down and ran into the kindergarten. <coughs> Staff that was across the alley from us for shed staff, they're in one room. We have a couple of places there that are office space that we're using. And then uh, we have the one big classroom, will be a preschool room. This uh clear back on the Jump starts at the middle school and the front door, upstairs. Oh. 
I know you'll have some parts of this play area. You'll have the old play area to get over that. And then, uh, and then we'll be bringing in the rest of the play area. I will be bringing here, after we figure out where we can put it, how much room we have, my plan is to try to bring the committee back together and determine whether we need some play area apparatus to be equipped. We'll have to put a little bit. Big strapping husbands. Waiting on putting the glass in the doors so that it can open out. Now, some housekeeping kind of things. Uh, the building's main is Holton Elementary. You want to know the address if you're doing anything? 812 West 5th. <coughs> We've got about three or four of the addresses. Finally, at 812 West 5th. Phone number is. It's the old Colorado. 3251. What? 3251. No, no, it's on mine. It's 1160. Speed down. Speed down. I don't know what the number is. We are in the process. and stuff we need to put in. We're working right now with the State Department to get the two buildings in mind. I finally talked to them to let us use all the Colorado numbers, building numbers, state numbers, and all of that, since we're on that same ground, so to speak. Otherwise, we would have to close two buildings with the feds and everybody and start all together. We never had a school there. It matters in our So, that part of it, if anybody can ever put anything on, I don't know if you would, but uh, it's the Colorado actual building number will be our official number in the state. For it. I just put it on my bill report. Someone looked at me like, well, I ever need it. Yeah, most of you will never need it for anything, but that's what, that's what it's going to be. And it's going to be, uh, As soon as I can get the directory put together, and I've got Debbie in my office, she's working on that this morning. Uh, I tried several times last week to get it put in, but there was some information I couldn't get. So every time I tried to save it, it was compliant, so I gave it a state so. Hey, Dennis. I just wanted to tell you, when you get in, there will not be internet. On the 25th, they start coming in and start putting up the access points, like one in each classroom. They say that's like a two-week project, so somewhere in there, the 25th on, depending on what if the access point get things configured, it's going to take at least a week before anybody probably in that building has any internet. So, and then, you know, I'm not even worried about printing right now. I mean, the first goal is just to see if we can get internet up and running. So it's going to be 
think it's going to take a little while. I talked to uh, Kansas City Audio Visual. The rest of the projectors should be in, could be shipped to the district maybe by the end of this week, which then we'll turn it over to them. They'll start mounting them. So in another few weeks. I mean, so tech's going to be able, we can't, it's kind of one of the last things you can do is get in. And so we're going to be in late. So don't expect There are 36 security cameras in the building. Inside and out. So, we don't have any interesters. They're not in the classrooms. They're not in the classrooms. Which, honestly, maybe they should be to help protect you. But they're not. They're in the hallways and, and all of that. Um, something else you can talk about? Technology. Key card system will be, you know, later. Security cameras. All the iPads are in, oh, but there's, but again, that's coming. That'll be August. I mean, we've got to get our network up and running first. We've got to connect it to the high school. Technology is in order to attend. It's very important. So, new things are going on. What kind of things? Machines. They will be networked. There's one upstairs in the workroom, there's one downstairs in the workroom, there's one in the uh, office area of the workroom, and they're all networked. And we are and we're looking to, um, one of the things that we're trying to do to make it easy for you is everything will work off your sweat card. So, so if you send something from your computer to the printer, Swipe the card and give it out. That's not fair. Copy it. Okay? So it's going to be in the holding bin in the, in the uh, copy machine. Then you go down to get it so you don't have to worry about anybody coming in and uh, having it sitting there and somebody, you know, a student or somebody coming in to get it or whatever you have to do. You swipe the card and you'll go down to those three places. One of those three, and so they're, they're pretty easily accessible. The workroom in the on the bottom floor is in the uh, northwest corner, and the one upstairs is right across from the uh, about in that area, about a third of the way down. And then the other one, of course, is in the north area, off the office. Hopefully we'll be able to swipe that. So, so if you're in the building, you'll swipe. If you lunch, you'll swipe the same card. If you uh, copy, you'll use the same card. Same ID number or whatever it is, whatever that number is that is. So try to make it so there's only one card for you here, and that's it. So did you already say Use the card and you won't be able to punch the code in. And then also, I don't remember if someone was at me. Will we have any copy access to the back of the building? Right now, there is none. Yes. 
his head in the morning and his doors are locked. But downstairs at the bus area, it's locked. The only way they can get in now is upstairs at the, in the office area. And he'll be, he'll be buzzed in from the outside to the office, into the foyer, into the office, they'll be buzzed in again. And if, if, if they want to get outside into the population, they'll have to be buzzed out of the office. Everybody that comes into the building will have to have a car. And the other thing is, is it irritates me when you drop the doors on the you want to carry a car. I see that all over the place. Why have it? I put that top of it. Doesn't make sense. Carry it. Appreciate you coming in here uh, on such short notice. And we'll get in there. It's going to be controlled chaos for the first semester, probably. And we're going to, and we're lightly using the word control. It will be chaos.